Just a spoonful of vodka helps the whiskey go down. You're such a bad singer. Excuse me, I'm a professional singer, Skipper. Well, maybe you should quit and be a professional drinker instead. Thank you. I said that to Mattel. They said it wasn't marketable. What the hell was that? The doorbell. We have a doorbell? Why are Ken and Yasmin always just walking in then? Because you never lock the door. We have locks? Yes, hello. Is Barbara there? Who are you? I am Margaret Roberts. I am her mother. Oh, that's Barbara! Get up off of the floor, you stupid girl. You will ruin your clothing. Oh, no, you're wearing cheap, hideous clothing. Never mind, man. She actually has a mother? I thought she was just a figment of her imagination. This is very unexpected, mother. What are you doing here? I was past through town visiting your aunt Millicent. She is very, very sick. Oh, is she okay? Nope, she's dead. Just came from the will reading. She's left you a pair of sensible heels, a cash register, an oversized brush, a sticker of food, a cocky day clutch, two coat hangers, and a feather boa. I will just leave them with your maid. I'm not a maid, I'm Skipper. Skipper? Well, the last time I saw you, you were blonde. What happened? I'm going through a phase. Ugh. Barbara, you're letting a brunette live in your house? She mixes a mean gin and tonic. It's her only saving grace. Yes, very well. I'll have a dry martini, two olives, hang up my hat, arrange for the car to pick me up at noon. Barbie, tell her I'm not the maid. Gin and tonic, please, Skipper. Now this one must be Stacy. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Here's $50, pet. Here, buy some peroxide. You're looking a little gingery. The freckles could do with some cover-up, too. Hello, Kelly. We've changed my name to Chelsea. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so Intimidated. Will you be staying long, Mother? Because I was actually just in the middle of something very, very important. I'll leave when I'm bored. So far, your vulgar taste in interior decorating has me quite amused. Are these lamps covered in blood spatter, or is that just the design? I don't know. Could go either way. So, what are you doing with your life? Oh, um, Lutz, I'm still a fashion model. Ha! <laughs> At your age. And I'm a doctor, nurse, vet, astronaut, presidential candidate, mermaid. Let me rephrase. What are you doing with your life that is worthwhile? Yeah, uh, I thought the presidential candidate thing was pretty noteworthy. Barbara, any idiot off of the street can be a presidential candidate. You didn't actually win the presidency. Did you? Not that I'm aware of. Just as I thought. A complete disappointment, just as you always have been. I am having the best time right now. Honestly, Barbara, there's nothing you can do at this point to make me think less of you than I already do. What the hell is this? Nothing? I don't know. What's what? Barbara, tell me you didn't have another baby. Of course not. She had another little sister. I told her to stop it with the little sister nonsense. If she has a new sister, that would mean I had a baby. And I think I would remember that since I had my tubes tied the moment she was born. We tried. Barbie. That lie totally doesn't work on her. She is Ken's, isn't she? No. I mean, maybe. She's either Ken's, the Green Power Rangers, or a collectible Jedi. That child is neither a Power Ranger nor a Jedi. Look, she's eating coins and slamming her head against the table. Yeah, she's totally Ken's. Barbara, you know how I feel about Ken. Why can't you date someone of a higher caliber? Like a G.I. Joe Navy SEAL or some sort of limited edition anything, really. Well, they're broken up now anyway. You broke up? You didn't know that, Grandma? It was a pretty big headline when it happened. I had a newspaper frame. This is wonderful. Is it? Believe me, Barbara, you are better off having that man out of your life. Let's celebrate with champagne. Maid, two flutes and a bottle of Moe, civil play. Okay, one, still not the maid, and two, they're not together, but I wouldn't say he's out of her life. What do you mean? Barb, please tell me you taped Honey Boo Boo last night, because something went wrong with the TiVo. Ah! Hello, Kenneth. Oh, God. Okay, no one panic. Girls, you just need to back away really slowly. Nothing's changed, I see. Don't look her in the eye. Just go. Go! We were just talking about you and the fact that you managed to have another baby with my daughter. Oh god, Chrissy, oh no, she's too close, I can't save her! I'm quite surprised by the number of times you've successfully impregnated Barbara since you're such a failure in every other aspect of your life. Chrissy, daddy's so sorry, honey! I'm, I'm just, I'm a baby, oh god! Oh, for pink's sake, here! I got her! I don't got her. Mom, you can't just throw babies! Yes, you can! I used to throw you all the time and you turned out fat on second thought, perhaps you're right. Kenny, did she tape it? Oh, hello. Finally, the maid is here. I'll have a dry martini, two olives. Not the maid. Oh, what is she? Yasmin. What is she? Daddy's girlfriend. No, what is she? She's a Bratz doll. A Bratz doll? 
That's disgusting. Good to meet you. Oh, I've never seen one in person. It's absolutely fascinating. Why is its head so large? No one knows. And what do Bratz dolls do exactly? Not much, really. We just kind of dress like sluts and then we hang around being slutty and sometimes we go to a prom or a sleepover and mostly just being a slut. And you do that full time? Oh, yes. And it takes up the whole day. Mother, as much as I appreciate you bringing the fairly overt flaws of Bratz dolls to our attention, I think you should probably go. You being here is kind of upsetting, Ken. <laughs> Barbara, I am trying to broaden my knowledge of different cultures. Well, can you take Yasmin somewhere else and do that? I don't really want her here either. You are being rude to me, Barbara. No, mother, you're being rude to me. I beg your pardon. You walk into my house for the first time in years and then proceed to fling insult after insult at me and my kids. I don't need it, mother. I already got enough of that from Skipper, who still hasn't brought me a gin and tonic. Not the maid. I am simply pointing out areas in which you and your sad little family may improve yourself. My family doesn't need to improve itself, mother. They're perfect just the way they are. They might be a little dysfunctional, but I love them. Yeah, and we love Barbie, even when she tries to convince other people that we're not her kids. And when she yells. And when she drinks so much that she passes out and the cops end up finding her the next day at the restrooms of a random Mexican restaurant. Yeah, even daddy loves her. Sometimes I hear him loving her through the bedroom door, but I'm not allowed to tell anyone about that, especially Yasmin. What? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I am loving this drama so much. Barbara, I am beginning to get the impression that my presence is not wanted here. Oh, well done, Sherlock. So astute. There's no need for mockery. Well, there's no need to make your hair so round that you look like a button mushroom, but you've done that. Oh, that is quite enough. I cannot bear to stay in this house any longer. Let the record state that you did not force me to leave. I left of my own accord. Fine by me. It's what I've said about every single one of my jobs. And I'm taking the feather boa and the oversized brush. Take whatever the f*** you want and leave. Just know this. You are not always a disappointment, Barbara. As Stacy says, you're at your best when you're passed out. Yeah, yeah, why don't you take that oversized hairbrush and go f*** yourself! Barbie, are you okay? I'm fine. Can we hug you? No. Barbie? I don't have a choice, do I? No. <gasps> Go on. Oh, oh Barbie. Barbie. I, I love you so time. much. Oh, I love my family. Not you. Press the subscribe button. We release a new Barbie stop motion film on the 15th of each month. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr by using the links in the description. Love Sam. And Mickey. Skipper. Yes. Go get us all a gin and tonic. And pick out the dry cleaning. Not the maid. Good.